you take a look at, at outside linebackers today and you start talking about what you're looking for and, well, he's got to be tough against the run, he's got to be smart, he's got to be fast, and they start talking about 6'3 and 220 and things. And Bobby Bell was all of that in the mid-1960s. I grew up in Kansas City at a time when um, athletes lived in apartment complexes instead of owning them. Bobby Bell's barbecue restaurant was just up the street. He was part of that community and that sense of athlete as somebody who was a role model and was graceful. How are we doing here? Just fine. Is everything all right? It's great. Who's the little one here? You see athletes and you often wonder, why so sullen? Why are you not having a great time? Here you are one of the most prominent people in your community. You're making a lot of money. You should be enjoying yourself. And Bobby Bell quintessentially was an athlete who got that. I haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been hiding? At home. At home? Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't do that though. Bobby Bell was an athlete. Like three syllables. Just a consummate athlete. He was certainly would be considered light among linebackers. He played at about 230. It was a chiseled 230, and it was a 230 without an ounce of body fat. He was a trailblazer. He could do everything. He was just somebody who was truly a natural, gifted athlete. Bobby Bell was also the Chiefs' long snapper and contributed everywhere on the field. One time in 69, the Broncos tried an onside kickoff, and instead of just falling on the ball, Bell catches it and runs 50 yards the other way for a touchdown. Hank Stram said that Bobby Bell was the only player he'd ever had who could play any position on the football field and you could still win with him. The Chiefs' defense led them to victory in Super Bowl IV. What a moment for all of the Kansas City Chiefs. But Kansas City might never have even played for the world championship if not for Bell's performance in the AFL playoffs. One of the great games in AFL history was the 69 interdivisional playoff game between the Jets and Chiefs. Jets were defending champions. Beginning of the fourth quarter, they've got first and goal on the Chiefs' one yard line. Two runs into the line of scrimmage gets nothing. Third down and one. The next play, Namath fakes to the running back and rolls out. And the play is executed beautifully except for one thing. Bobby Bell doesn't buy the fake. He doesn't commit. Bell read it perfectly, and he trailed the running back out into the flat. Ultimately, Namath threw incomplete. What pressure put on by Bobby Bell? Instead of the Jets taking the lead on a windswept day at Shea Stadium, Chiefs score a touchdown on the next possession. It's fitting and appropriate that of all those Chiefs greats, Bobby Bell was the first Chiefs player inducted into the Hall of Fame. Nobody played linebacker like Bobby Bell did.